Welcome back to Classic Replay. This time I fancied a bit of Road Rash. I literally grew up on this game uh, for the Sega Mega Drive. That's where my loyalty for the game lies because it's the one I played the most. But in my later years, I'm discovering more and more uh, Amiga games. Amiga games that were ported to the Sega Mega Drive and Mega Drive, Sega Mega Drive games that were ported to the Amiga. I've given it a quick play and although the Sega Mega Drive is the definitive version in regards of speed, graphics and sound, this Amiga effort is no slouch. I mean, I'd have been happy with this game on the Amiga. It's no bad. The more time I spend with the Commodore Amiga, I really think people back the wrong horse with the uh, consoles, the Super Nintendo, and the Sega Mega Drive, and the PC engines, and all this, that, and the other. The Amiga's an absolute beast. As I've mentioned in previous videos, the Super Hang-On version was absolutely fantastic. I've not played a game, really, that's even up to scratch with the, the likes of Lotus Turbo Challenge on the Sega Mega Drive or the Super Nintendo. I mean, there's some great games, don't get me wrong. Super Mario Kart is unbelievable. I'm talking serious races, the arcade-style races, OutRun, that sort of thing. In fact, I'm absolutely loving Lotus Turbo Challenge on the Amiga. The second one as well. Not so much the third one, because it's overly difficult when it didn't need to be. That Lotus Turbo Challenge is bloody brilliant. In fact, I'm going to do a video on that game next. So Road Rash is centred around a series of high-octane road races that play out in the state of California, where the rider must win to advance to the higher difficulty races. And to aid you in getting there, you can punch your way through to the front of the grid or use lots of different blunt weaponry to smash people in the face and ultimately win out Mad Max style. I hadn't realised until I started looking through the other versions that it arrived on the Master System as well, the Game Gear, the Game Boy had a version, can you believe it? The 3DO, the Sega CD, I didn't even know that and I had a Sega CD, the PlayStation, the Sega Saturn, and Microsoft Windows had a version as well. I read somewhere years ago that they even planned a release for the Atari Jaguar, but because the console failed, the whole deal fell through. The code must still be out there. I imagine people out there have played it. So just looking at the bigger picture for the 16-bit and 8-bit versions, computer and video games rated the Sega Mega Drive Genesis version 91%. Paul Glancy and Tim Boone of Computer and Video Games described the game as a beat em up on motorbikes and super hang on with fists and clubs thrown in. Amiga Format gave 84%. CU Amiga described the game as immensely playable and nicely violent but strangely only gave it 81%, which is a bit harsh, I think. The other thing to note is that Road Rash was the fourth highest selling Amiga title in the UK in its debut month. Road Rash was also voted number 88 in the top 100 games of all time by Game Informer magazine. Never heard of them. Well, I've massively enjoyed playing this game. It's time to take off my helmet and shut my trap for the rest of this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more content yeah. and yeah. until the next video, yeah. bye! Yeah.